Hey everybody, Teresa Sigmund here, and I wanted to give you a personal update on what I have been up to these last few months and why it is that you um, are seeing blogs from all across the country. Well, about five months ago, I put my stuff in storage in Portland, Oregon, and decided that I was gonna hit the road for a few months. Now, when I did this, I figured I'd only be gone four months maximum, and here it is, I'm a little over five months and not back home to the Pacific Northwest yet. Why are you wondering did I decide to take off with my cat? <laughs> I had three reasons. One, I wanted a personal change. I wanted to be able to see and do things for a personal level, to see this beautiful country that I live in and to meet my So Like a Pro members. Two, I wanted to be able to reach out to the sewing community to be able to film more blogs in ice skating rinks and ballroom studios and other places like that and just meet really awesome people that are in my industry. And I've been able to do that really well. Three, I had a destination. I decided to go to North Carolina because my sister-in-law was unfortunately diagnosed with stage four breast cancer that had spread to multiple parts of her body. Now, as soon as my mom and I found that out, we both sort of made a plan that we would take turns going back east, back to North Carolina and help the family out if they needed it. So I thought, why not? I run a mobile business, let's go for it. So that's sort of the three main things that happened to precipitate me hitting the road. Now, on the bright side, my sister-in-law is doing really, really well. She is kind of a, a miracle in the making. Her white blood cell counts are good. Her energy level's still strong. She is having some, um, you know, residual issues from the chemotherapy, of course, but all in all, she's doing really, really fabulous. And as far as So Like a Pro goes, it's going great. I have had so much fun meeting one, two, three, so three sewing school members, and I have filmed 18 blogs in six cities as I've traveled to and from, and I hope to still get a few more in before I go back to the Pacific Northwest. I have seen 15 national parks since March of this year, not to mention tons and tons of other really interesting spaces. And my cat, who weighs a little less than seven pounds, is like the bravest little kitty ever. She, um, <laughs> we have camped regularly, which we do most of the time. It's economical, I like being outdoors, the cat has adjusted. Sometimes we'll splurge and be in a hotel room, like in St. Louis while I was filming there. We, I got an awesome room downtown in the Hyatt and the cat really seemed to like being on the 12th floor with indoor plumbing and carpeting. <laughs> So anyway, I have worked acro across the board as I've gone along, but one of the reasons that you have not seen a whole lot of blogs lately, or especially the new blogs, is because I've been so busy traveling, and it really does get kind of exhausting sometimes that I have not had time to do a lot of the editing that I would like to do. If I stay at a campground that does not have power, I just call it that's my weekend I call it good if I stay in you know like a, a campground that has electricity or if I'm in an RV spot where I have power I plug in and I work in the tent for a few hours and try to stay on top of things during times when I'm at my like say when I was back in Carolina or right now when I'm in Arizona and I'm in one place for a while then I just work really long days <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch up on everything and keep it all going because hey I'm still for the most part a one-woman show <laughs> um, but anyway that is it I have had a great time I am not nuts I have not lost my mind I'm super excited with how all three of my goals have you know transpired on that um, one of the really awesome things I did while I was back visiting my sister-in-law was I helped her put a um, a decorative wall on top of her cinder block retaining wall and she had been staring at this cinder block wall for years and I knew when I drove across country that I would be doing manual labor and it was really hard work moving all those rocks but I loved it it was oh 
I didn't get finished, but it's such a beautiful wall. And I had a really great time having a project that was creative and inspiring and I could see the work without having to do fabrics. And so that was really awesome because it re-inspired me because it was new and that's one of the things that I wanted to achieve from the trip and it's done. So yeah, I think, oh, this is actually the third time I have tried to do this video for you. <laughs> I tried once when I was in Rocky Mountain National Park and the audio didn't work so I'm just going my mouth is moving and you can't hear a single word and then I tried that was a few weeks ago and then I tried again just two or three days ago in a different part here in Phoenix with this beautiful background and it focused on the background not on me <laughs> This is love, true love, people, that I go to this much effort for you on a regular basis. So anyway, that is it. I just wanted to let you know. And um, yeah, I think I will be in Phoenix for the most part for the next month, maybe eight weeks. And then I'll start working my way back up to the Pacific Northwest. However, at this point in time, I'm leaving it open because I've had so many really neat opportunities come up and it's just great. I have started a new Instagram account. It is right below in the written blog here. And that is, I'm going to make just chronicle my travels. So I'll start with some pictures here in Arizona and then I will slowly chronologically catch you up on all of my travels over the last five months. So it'll be a travel blog really. And you can watch it even if you're not on Instagram, it'll be public. So if you have an account and you want to follow me, that would be awesome. And also follow So Like a Pro if you're into dancing or making dresses because that's where all of my, all the dress tips are, anything like that. But the travel blog will be Teresa.Sigmund and the So Like a Pro is so like a pro so anyway that is in the written link before i'd love it if you would follow me tell all your friends and even if you're not on instagram and you want to come and look at the pictures you can certainly do that without having to log in and then of course or create an account and then of course i'll just keep posting things on facebook and whatnot that's it i'm taking off i gotta get into work um, and start editing this video <laughs> all right i'll talk to you again another time bye